for later that you decided to make us a part of your viewing and listening choice for today. First, before we get into the meat of the show, it's going to be a very airy, lighthearted show. We are coming off of um, our celebration for Juneteenth. Yes, it was a fantastic day. It was Definitely amazing. A good celebration. Yeah, uh-huh. it was great, especially in light of all the things that are happening around our country. We Amarillians. Amarillians, yes. <laughs> Enjoyed a peaceful <laughs> celebration. It was amazing. Our police department showed up. We do believe that they are the crown jewel of police departments here in the panhandle because mm -hmm. we they got down. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Yeah, they were amazing out of yeah. Hamlet Park. They yeah. were letting the kids sit on the bikes. Yeah. They were, they, they, yeah, they were They good. let the grown-ups sit on the bikes. I know, right? <laughs> I'm like, yeah. don't do that. You don't know I him. I know, no. exactly. <laughs> Michael Tennant, how you back? Hey, Mike. Bro, how you back? <laughs> <laughs> but it was great. Before we get into the show, we want to thank our sponsors, Drea the Poetess out of Washington, D.C., my sister. And um, Hi, Drea. hey, Drea, yeah, you need to bring your own home. I mean, I'm okay, just saying. Come on, it's Amarillo, Drea. <laughs> yeah, stop playing with us, okay? <laughs> and also, Amarillo United Citizens Forum, where we are recording this segment. Definitely. Our new home. Our new home, yeah. yes. Some exciting things happening gonna be are going to be happening here in this center very soon. Yep, yeah, and so you'll be the witness. Very excited. Also, United Way of Amarillo and Canyon. Katie, we love you, girl. Yes, Katie, we love yeah, you. Yeah, you're amazing. <laughs> and so, um, yeah, thank you for all that you do. Thank you for all that you've done for the north side of Amarillo. Yeah, thank you for your heart, definitely. And of course, we have to thank. Miss Mildred Darton yes. with North Heights Advisory Association. Definitely. That's our mama yes. in the movement. <laughs> in the movement, right? Yes. We love you, Miss yes, Darton. We love you. And um, yeah, come see us soon. All right, so we're gonna get right into the show. So, so what did you think about about our festivities? Um, I thought that the festivities here in Amarillo were really good. Um, I went to Hamlet Park during the day. And it was just amazing to see the kids there and yeah. all of the grown people that came together to make sure that the kids had a good time. You know, yeah. I thought that was extremely important. They were giving out toys and candy, um, yes, and drinks, and yeah. you know, it was so many Kool Aid jammers in there. Those little kids was <laughs> like, yes, you know, both one in both hands, you know. And so, I mean, I really think that they need to be um, com uh, commended. Yeah. Uh, Chris Brackens and your team, fantastic job. Yeah. Chris can grill. Okay. Okay, so he gave me a secret. Oh, but he said on Facebook that nobody supposed to tell. Okay, I can't so tell. Can't it's tell. about the hot can't link, tell. though. That bad one was slamming. Yes. And never had one like that before. Never. It was never. good. We I can tell, tell you a secret, Chris. Okay. You owe me some money, though. Okay, for okay. real. Okay, <laughs> just saying. Yeah, but I think everything was good. You know, the uh, car club that came and was in the parade was yeah. amazing. Yeah, um, absolutely. I love Corvette, so that was yeah. good. Um, you know, the kickball game was great. It was a bunch mm -hmm. of people out there. Yeah. So I think it was it was some really good stuff. What did you yeah. think about it? Being I, back in Amarillo, the first one. I thought it was going to be this little old parade, you know, and, and um, it would be about six or seven people on the street, you know, <laughs> but it was packed. Yes. It started right here at the Cultural Center, mm -hmm. and it, I mean, there were about 40 Corvettes out here. The best one is yours, Daryl Hunt. Anyway, and so. And I need a ride. It was amazing. <laughs> <laughs> and Johnny, man, yours was okay, nice. Yeah. And um, can, can we borrow it? And okay. so, um, <laughs> no, before we even ask. Uh, but it was amazing. The fire department showed up. The police department showed up. Mm -hmm. And then um, the classic car club showed up. Right, Mr. Whitaker and him. Yeah, been doing Mr. It for Whittaker. years. Yeah. He got that town car that I want. Yeah, yeah it's amazing. It's nice. And he stayed at Hamlet Park like, longer than we did. He did. He, he outlasted us yesterday. Yeah. We was like, it's hot. And he was still hanging in there, he hanging was. with his friends. He yeah, was. It was good. So, but stay tuned. We're going to show you some clips and we're going to start with the parade. Hold tight. Don't you go nowhere. Amazing. Are you live, Mill? Okay.
Good to see you. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, wasn't that an awesome parade it was amazing it was yeah. good uh -huh. you know what really got me about the parade was how involved the police officers were oh, uh -huh. and so they had like I don't know, 12 bikes out there. Mm -hmm. They were beautiful. They're Harleys. They're brand new. You could tell they were rubbing on them with a diaper before they, yeah, got, before there. they got out there. <laughs> you know? And then they had all the lights and whoever the, the captain was that led them, mm -hmm. it was, they were synchronized perfectly. They weren't, see, if it was me, I'd have been, I'd have, okay, I'd have dropped that real. bike going that slow. For real. But, but they, um, they actually engaged with the crowd and they waved. Mm -hmm. And they're our community um, officers, though. And so we know a lot of them. Right, right. And so they, they know um, a lot of the kids personally. Um, either good or bad circumstances, but they do. But they were really um, into it, and they're most of them. Were, well, all of them were Caucasian or Hispanic mm -hmm. officers. Definitely, one yeah. of our neighborhood policemen. I cannot, for the life of me, remember her name. She's but amazing. She, Arthur she Warford. Is, uh huh. Yeah. yeah she uh -huh. ran up and uh, she was gonna give me a face, a fist bump. I'm like, girl, I hug. I'm sorry. I know it's COVID <laughs> and all. She's like, oh. Okay. <laughs> so I was just all yeah. into the parade. Yeah, yeah, I did my own little personal live. I'm not allowed to go live anymore. Yeah, you're but, not because you're yeah. a hot mess. But but I, I got some I mean, footage of it. Was it. Funny. So you're going live. I got it in my recording. So we still got you. <laughs> and so we're gonna show you okay. what a hot mess this child is. Oh I, I gave great commentary. The comments on Facebook were amazing. People said that everybody needed to be And most way. of them were like, you're a hot mess, <laughs> Melly Mel, didn't they? Some of them did say know, that. I yeah, know. Ivy, yeah, you know you told me I wasn't supposed to record no more. <laughs> but, but I was, was excited. Great. It was good. The Corvette had me excited. The car, yeah. the cars just in general, I like fast yeah. cars. I know, mm -hmm. I know. And then they then they just, you know, they got out there. They was eight foot tall and bullet. Okay, <laughs> yeah. They started doing the maze. The man pulled up to us. He was like, yeah, I don't know nothing about that. Who's that, Daryl? I don't know who you are. Okay. He was somebody from Oklahoma. Okay. I was like, okay, yes, sir. I'm going with your maze then. Uh, I started getting mad. I said, I want one now. I know, right? I'm like, y'all yeah. show off. Anyway, yeah. it was amazing. So they made their way down to Bones Hook Park, and then they, they began to set up mm -hmm. for the evening's festivities. But we made our way to Hamlet Park. Right. And so here's a little bit of footage. Fun time. Yeah. Community and It was community. amazing, yeah. Mm -hmm. So you get to see Michael Tennant uh, pretend to be a cop on a bike. It was yeah. amazing. Well, okay. I thought he, he was so excited. He turned, they turned the lights on. He was like, ooh. <laughs> no. <laughs> I thought, well, you better send that to me. Yeah. <laughs> so that was so, good, it was good. So enjoy, hold tight.
<laughs> you mind if I take a picture, oh, sir? Hi, Is that okay? Yeah. Oh, yeah. You'd be surprised how many pictures I have in my back out. <laughs> well, because he's a tall mine, guy, maybe. Mine, mine is the one that has the duck on it. Gotcha, oh. gotcha. Well, my partner, I got him a duck, too. So. Uh -huh. <laughs> is it the same duck? It, it, it is. is. It is. <laughs> I got you. This is a video. I'm going to take it. Okay, oh, let, me, it's a video. let me stop. <laughs> let me stop. And, <laughs> let me stop and... Um, the red button. Welcome back. Hope you enjoyed that. Now we got to show you what happened at Bones Hook Park. It was amazing. Amazing. The people came out and yeah. definitely supported. It was packed out. And even those little people that did kind of mess up a little bit, they got straightened out real quick. There was a large police presence there, and they handled it professionally. They did. Yeah. They it did was really, really quiet. Well. Matter of fact, we didn't even know that anything had even occurred because we were having such a good time good for time. the majority. Yeah, we just have to um, stand in the gap and continue to pray for our young people, right. you know, and pray that, that they'll get engaged in a program such as the ones that we're going to be having right here at the Cultural Center that will teach them who they are and, and educate them on, mm -hmm. on how to act in public. Right, how to handle conflict effectively. I yeah. think that'll be very important, conflict yeah. management. Absolutely. And you know, uh, we look at them like, oh man, they're ignorant, but they're not. You're, you, you made a valid point. They have no idea how to handle conflict right. because they're so wounded, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you know, and so underserved. And so we realize that. So we don't approach that as um, we approach that, of course, as a disparity. But that doesn't have to be the end. It's you know, not, it can't, it's yeah. not going to be. The end. As a matter of fact, it can be a, a great foundation in which to build on. And so we're hopeful and excited at the same time to be able to implement programming in the North Heights of Amarillo to include STEM programs and robotics. There's some of the things that are that are on the horizon. And you've got some, you've got a boot camp gonna start here or, or Yeah, it's gonna start okay. soon. We're gonna do um, conditioning and character building camp yeah. and then uh, we're gonna hold that at the Warford Center in the park. Uh, we hope to get the permits and everything this week. Yeah. So there'll be more on Facebook about that. Um, also, we are looking to do like some sewing camps where we can uh, have some kids come up here that want to learn how to sew, teach yeah, them how to uh -huh. sew, teach them how to make masks, and let that be an entrepreneurial right. um, venture for them so yeah. they can sell the masks that they make. Just trying to do little by little what we can to make a right. difference in this community. It's going to yeah. take all of us. It's going to take all of us. Absolutely. We had an awesome time, and we... We saw one of my favorite groups, and so I know I'm in my 50s, man. And you're like, you way too old to be digging a group like this, but the walls. And they wasn't even on eight track, yeah. Group. <laughs> but the, disregard what you just said, no. I do still have an eight track player, and I don't know where it is, but I do have one. But the walls group came to Amarillo, and they turned it out. They are an inspirational gospel group but the awesome thing about them is they are young people they are very young yeah from yeah. teenage to i think up to 24 or 25 yeah. not really sure their ages but they're young people it was amazing to see young people praising the lord in the park that way yes yeah. a very diverse yeah. crowd of people yeah. just on fire for yeah. god you it was know amazing. but it was yeah. great and yeah. They can sing. Yeah, they, I they mean, they down. can sing. Yeah. You hear me? Yeah. Like that old time when you going through something, yeah, all you yeah. can do is moan when yeah. you start listening to him and you just be in tears. They okay? got with it, didn't they? They got with it. It yeah. was amazing. It was amazing. Joshua Rogers did good. Yeah. Um, both of them have been to Amarillo before, but it was just yeah. something I think about being in the park and yeah. seeing all those young people so happy, you yeah. know? Yeah. Uh, we met Pastor Hunt and um, that was his daughter. His family is very talented. Gotcha. So they sing and they do. Yeah a lot of different things they're on fire for the lord yeah. so i think it's it's a movement that's yeah. going on right now that's that's starting to change and yeah. that's what we need yeah and and amarillo's own devlin jones right from Definitely. the spot yes. he got down but he always gets down when always. he goes always. so he opened up for the whole thing mm -hmm. and so i think he was a bit misplaced he should have been farther up there in the lineup <laughs> because he he turned it out from he the get switch yeah and so um, yeah that's an amazing dude Enjoy the footage. You're gonna enjoy it just as much as we did, I'm sure. And so we'll be right back. Don't, don't you know? Don't touch. Right. Don't touch the dial. Don't, touch don't do it, man. I'm just saying. <laughs> Don't 
Wasn't that amazing? It was amazing. Yeah. Was Wish that? we had more clip to show you, but um, yeah, we just don't. <laughs> so, but hope you enjoyed the pictures. As a matter of fact, we're going to close out with um, pictures from the festivities and just look at the look on everybody's face to be, um, yeah, to be, you know, after sheltering in place for so long, you know, then being able to be out in an environment that was peaceful, inspirational, mm -hmm. and the weather was absolutely beautiful. Beautiful, yes. Yeah, so God All blessed day. us. Yes, definitely. Yeah, yeah so, definitely. yeah. Did you add, are you gonna add that clip, are you resting in the grass or no? No clip. The clip. <laughs> The one where you were I didn't resting. even save it. Uh -huh. Oh, you did? I didn't save it. I resend it to you, and then we'll make no, sure we get the added. Ma'am, If you'd like to see Jay Parker rested in the park, you can make sure you no, come in here, <laughs> and we will make sure that we get that on. That may just need to be a It was kind of fuzzy. Video. It wasn't of greatest it wasn't, quality. It wasn't? Okay, yeah, okay. Yeah, I mean, I, I can clear it up a little bit. Uh -huh. Yeah, how you going to do it? Uh, we'll figure something out. Where you going uh -huh. Yeah, uh -huh. I, I didn't bring it with me. Okay, yeah, of course you didn't. We hope you enjoyed this segment of World on the Street with JP featuring Melly Mail. Yes. I'm JP and that, of course that's Melly Mail. Yeah. And until next time, <laughs> that's right. We'll see you on the radio. <laughs> radio. Okay.